Hey guys, welcome back to another Division video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a build that I made that focuses on this skill right here, which is the Booster Hive. Now, I always wanted to use this skill, but... And uh, upon reading Reddit, you know, some people say that it increases the damage. It wasn't really clear, but if we read the description here, it says increases melee damage. So we're going to be ignoring the melee damage increase. Instead, we're just going to be focusing on hazard protection and weapon handling. And uh, right now, if I wanted to use a skill, I want it to be skill tier 6. You know, just, you know, I just want to have the full effectiveness of the skill. And right now, we are skill tier 6. I will zoom here. And this is the setup that I have. And I decided to go for backfire because of that buff that we get, which is hazard protection and weapon handling. So this is the setup that I have right now. I went for reds instead of blues for this build. We are using the ninja bike and we have weapon damage at our some of the pieces. For example, the chest piece and the knee pads. Also, this is Picaro's holster, so it also gives you 15% weapon damage and as well as skill tier. So this is the setup. Okay, so before we talk about the individual pieces of the items in the build, I'm just going to show you guys here that I'm using the backfire right now and I'm taking the uh, bleed damage, right? You can see the screen goes red and I'm taking bleed damage and I'm going to press M here and let's go to defensive stats and you can see right now I am 50% hazard protection. This comes from the uh, SHD watch bonus, also this one here which is the cavalier piece. Uh, the set item gear set uh, the two-piece bonus gives you 30% hazard protection all right and all the rest of the stats here don't have like any hazard protection so it's very simple to build but ideally you want um, instead of critical hit chance you want critical hit damage but it's not a wasted stat because if you switch to your LMG, you still get that benefit of critical hit chance. But right now, this is pretty much wasted because uh, right now, even if we change this into critical hit damage, uh, the critical hit chance that we have is still 60%. So ideally, that is critical hit damage, but all of the pieces of gear here are pretty much ideal. Okay, so now we will be dropping the booster hive and once we get hit like so i'm going to show you guys the hazard protection that we have right now right now it is 112 so back on my previous video i think you only need 93 or 94 percent hazard protection for you not to get bleed from backfire but we have 112 so that's pretty safe and i'm going to be shooting this training dummy and after we reload we shouldn't be taking any damage like so so the damage is pretty high once it's fully buffed uh, to, together with the obliterate it's up to you if you want to use obliterate but if you know if you want more survivability uh, go for something like unbreakable but you know if you want more damage uh, go for obliterate so and one more thing just in case that you're out of like the charges from your booster hive for some reason uh, you want to switch to an lmg and i decided to go for this one i just got this one pretty new 14 percent lmg damage well, actually that's not perfect but it's close to perfect 1.1 percent and uh, damage out of cover and critical hit chance and i decided to go for strained again 10 percent critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing and before we go to the individual items, let me just show you how fast the reload speed here is. As you can see, it's pretty usable. The damage is uh, pretty decent as well. We're hitting for 400,000 on an LMG. And we have like really decent reload speed. I think it's very usable. And there it is. That is like how the build plays. And the nice thing about this build is that we are skill tier 6. And we have the option of using another skill. It's up to you what you want to use. But uh, we have a bonus here of 15% explosive damage because we are using Group of Sombra. So you might want to use something or take advantage of that bonus. So right now I'm using the Cluster Mine. You know, you're going to be throwing some Cluster Mine here and there. So it's very nice. We're dealing a lot of damage. We have a uh, fast reload speed. We don't really take any damage from, you know, hazard protection. 
I mean, we have hazard protection 112, and we have access to a skill tier 6 skill. So, pretty fun build, and I really like it. Also, we have like one armor core from Ninja Bike. Okay, so now that is out of the way, let's talk about the individual items. Starting off with the main weapon for the build, again, it's backfire. So if you don't have this gun yet, just go to countdown and set your target loot into SMG and hopefully you get it. Uh, mine is level 9. I, did, I do like this weapon. Um, and the stats that I have here is SMG damage, critical hit chance, magazine size, and the talent that is payment in kind. Dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of 1% critical hit damage up to 200 stacks. So that's 200% critical hit damage at max stacks, lasting 10 seconds. On reload, apply a 10 second bleed to yourself, but you don't have to worry about that because we have hazard protection. Now for the secondary weapon, I'm using an LMG. It is the classic M60 like machine gun. It has 135 mags because I'm using the mod that increases the mag by 35. We have LMG damage, damage to out of cover, and critical hit chance, and I decided to put in strained. You could go for other, you know, skills or talents like killer. It's up to you. It's not really, you know, I'm just wanting, I just want to experiment with this one. And for the mods, I just use critical hit chance, plus 35 rounds, and another 5% critical hit chance. As for the sidearm, you could use whatever you want. I'm just leveling up this sidearm, so you know, it's up to you what you want to use. Okay, so now that we have the weapons out of the way, let's go to the armor pieces. Starting off with the mask. I am using the Grupo Sombra brand. It has the bonus of critical hit damage and explosive damage. You could ignore that explosive damage and use whatever skill you want. It's up to you, but me, I just want to try to optimize and get most of the bonuses that we get from our items. I rerolled the core attribute into skill tier and you just want to have critical hit damage and critical hit chance and then did put a critical hit damage mod. Okay so for the chest piece I'm using the Sockle of Concern brand. It has 10% SMG damage which is perfect because I highly suggest that we use backfire and it has another 15% critical hit damage very nice the core attribute for this one is weapon damage no need to reroll that and you just want to have critical hit damage and critical hit chance and then put a critical hit damage mod now for the talent i went for obliterate just for more damage but if you want more survivability go for unbreakable for the holster i am using the picaris holster this is a named Brazos the Arcabus holster, it gives you 10% skill haste and plus one skill tier. Uh, you need two pieces for that, but we have Ninja Bike to act as a second piece, so no need to worry about that one. And the core attribute for this piece of uh, gear is armor, so you want to reroll that into skill tier and have critical hit damage and weapon damage. Make sure that it's critical hit damage because uh, Backfire is an SMG and it already has like a lot of critical hit chance. So make sure that you get triple hit damage in this piece of gear. Okay, so for the backpack, one of my favorite exotics, I know a lot of people hate it, but it's the Ninja Bike Messenger backpack. It has the core attribute of weapon damage, armor, and skill tier. That's like the main thing that I want is skill tier because I want to use the skill tier 6 and right now it's leveled up to level 7 so and you want to put a critical hit damage mod and the talent for this backpack is resourceful basically what this means is that it acts as a second piece for your other pieces of gear okay so now for the gloves I'm using the Seska Veroba gloves mainly for the bonuses here which is very nice Critical hit chance is very nice for SMGs and LMGs, any of your weapon. And we have 10% hazard protection. So you get one from the SHD level, you get hazard protection from this, and uh, the rest is uh, from Cavalier. And then you have your booster to make it to 100 hazard protection. And you want to reroll the core attribute into skill tier and the attributes that you want is critical hit damage and critical hit chance okay so lastly we have the knee pads i'm using the cavalier gear set the two-piece bonus gives you 30 percent hazard protection and uh, that's pretty much needed and then you have the core attribute of weapon damage this is basically a armor roll so you need to reroll this 
to weapon damage and ideally you want to have critical hit damage here instead of critical hit chance okay so now that we are done with the armor pieces let's go to the skills first up is uh, the first skill it's up to you what skill you want I'm using the cluster mine just an idea this is the cluster seeker mine I have the mods here which is 5% damage 5.9 skill haste and lastly plus one cluster mine and for the other skill booster hive right so this is the booster hive booster version of the hive and the mods that I have here is 9.8 stim efficiency 10% duration that you can get from technician and then a plus four stim charges okay so for the specialization I'm using technician mainly for the plus one skill tier talent that we get here which is this one amped it gives you plus one skill tier and make sure that you unlock this one which is spray and prayer skill tier 3 this gives you 15% increased submachine gun damage and uh, if you want to use LMG like me unlock this one as well this gives you 15% light machine gun damage okay so before we go to the shooting range let's take a quick look at the stats right now I'm using the backfire you can see here at the bottom and my weapon damage is 114,000 my critical hit chance is 60%. My critical hit damage is 158%. And the headshot damage is 58%. And the hazard protection here right now is 50%. I think that's pretty much the uh, stats that you want to look for. And I almost have 1 million armor here and skill tier 6. Also, I just want to mention that most of my gear are have no level except for the ninja bike which is level 7 right now and as for the weapon I'm using a level 9 backfire but the rest of the pieces of the gear don't have any levels okay so here we are at the shooting range and I think this is a pretty easy build to play not much explaining is needed but you know like backfire the more you hit enemies you get a stack of 1% critical hit damage up to 200 stacks so that's 200% additional critical hit damage and every time you reload uh, you take damage but if you have booster hype and you have your hazard protection up to 90% 93% then you don't take any bleed damage so that's like one of the talents and then ninja bike acts as the second piece throughout I mean throughout all your pieces of gear here and obliterate pretty much is every time a critical hit is uh, inflicted you get weapon damage 1% for 5 seconds and it stacks for 25 times and uh, as soon as it hits 200 that means that it's fully uh, buffed right now the damage on the chest is 657,000 and the damage on the head is 741 all right so that's pretty good also we have skill tier 6 so let's check the damage of our seeker mines or cluster mines and let's see here I know it's 100 1,600,000 for the seeker mine and that's it anyways guys that is the build I think it's a very good build I'm not sure if it's meta or anything but I really enjoy it I like the idea of dropping your hive and your hive buffs you for a few seconds and the reload speed that it provides or weapon handling is very much appreciated it's very good you get a bunch of reload speed and uh, stability and you have a hundred percent hazard protection which protects you from status effects and you get to do a lot of damage because you're using backfire and you have the option of uh, using other guns as well on your secondary weapon Another thing that I really like about this build is that it has skill tier 6. Now it's up to you, I just want to use or take advantage of the 15% explosive damage that we get from Gupro Sombra. But ideally I want to use um, our turret and hive and you can change the talent in the chest piece into tamper proof so that every time someone an enemy walks near your hive or, or your turret they get shocked anyways guys you know i just want to make a short video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one